Greetings boys and girls, my name is Aridan Kane. Today we're going to be talking about nuclear material, where to get it and how to get it. Now that you know what we're doing, let's get started. Our first location is going to be the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant. It's located on the west side of the map. You'll find Camden Park to the southwest and uh, the Poseidon Energy plant to the east. Let's go ahead and go there. When you drop in at the spawn point, you're going to head straight ahead. You'll notice the Nuka Cola bottle there. Um, we're going to cross this little bridge, and then after we get past it, we're going to take an immediate right hand. We'll head up this road. If the scorch to the ferals don't get you, the rats will. You will run across a few uh, ferals around here. Uh, and there's one right there. I had cleared most of them, but uh, apparently one respawned. So heading up to the road, and then we're going to head right over here. You'll see the turret there. Should be friendly. Should be no problems there. Uh, and then we're going to head right in here to the main entrance. Upon entering the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant, we're going to head straight through the lobby here. And then we're going to take these stairs up to the right. Um, that will put us at the Snackability Research and Development Room. Head right here to this table, and there will be a nuclear waste there. And then over here on the counter, another nuclear waste in the blue basket. This doorway will require level one lock picking. We'll go through that. And on the shelf is another nuclear waste. And then on this shelf are two more nuclear waste. We'll grab those. Head back out into the main hallway. And then head right across the way into the flavor, op flavor profile ops room. And then in this safe, there's more nuclear waste. We'll grab that. So then heading back this way, you'll see stairs and there's holes in the ground. Um, we're going to take these stairs and then you will see a big hole right here next to the statue. So we're going to drop down there. So if we look to our left, We'll see a cart that has a nuclear waste. Note that you will have to fight a uh, glowing one who's kind of tough, so just be, pre be prepared for that. And then on this shelf, we'll have another nuclear waste. And then out this door, straight ahead to the uh, what is that, northwest, on this table, there is a final nuclear waste. That will do it for the Kanawa nuclear, or <laughs> Nuka Cola plant. Our next location is going to be the Blackwater Mine. Uh, you'll find it to the east of the White Springs. Uh, pretty common location. Uh, should not be hard for anybody to find. Um, so we'll go ahead and fast travel there. Once we spawn in, we're just going to head directly towards the gated area. Um, you'll want to take out the mole miners that you find as you go. Um, mostly because they can spawn as glowing mole miners, which have a chance to drop nuclear waste. Um, so there'll be a couple over here, a couple over there. Um, but ultimately what we want to do is head into the mine itself, which we can do through this doorway. Upon entering the Blackwater Mine, we're going to basically just follow the train tracks all the way down. Um, there will generally be a small fight here, 
with uh, usually rats or something like that. Um, and these two will already be in their current state. So we're gonna hit, take this left. You will have a couple guys pop up here. Um, also keep in mind that the guys you fight in here could be glowing, so they have a chance to drop uh, nuclear waste as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so once you get to the top, we're gonna head, take this first left. And then right on the shelf here, you'll see nuclear waste. So we will grab that and then head back out here. And then this is where we came up. So then we're going to the right and you'll see a bridge. So we're gonna head across this little bridge and there'll be more mole miners here to fight. Uh, but this uh, area to the right is what we really are looking for. Um, you see we have uranium veins. Um, so the first thing we want to do is switch into our excavator power armor. Hop in here real quick. And the reason we want to use the excavator power armor is, is because this will increase the amount of uh, uranium ore that we get once we harvest these. If I remember correctly, there's nine, I think. Let's count. Let's see. We got one, which gave us. And you'll notice it gives us two uranium ore every time we harvest one. So there's two, three. I'm going to do this slow and make sure we get them all. Four. Six. Seven, there's two on the side, eight, and nine. Yeah, that is all. So we've got our nine uranium ore nodes that we've harvested from here. From this point, we'll just drop back down here and head back out to the main tunnel where we came from. And then we're going to continue heading towards the east across this small bridge. That is the doorway that you would go to for the uh, uranium fever event. And then this little area right here, you'll find a couple mole miners. You'll have to take them out. Then we've got more uranium ore. So there's one, two, let's see our light on, three, come on now, four, Six, seven, is there any more? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so that's all the uranium ore. Um, let's take a look and see how much we actually got. See that? Miscellaneous must be. There it is. So from our 16 nodes, because we're wearing our, our excavator power armor, we got 32 go to crafting at the chemis chemistry station and if we go down to smelting to find under nuclear waste oh, we must have already had two uranium ore um, if we smelt these down so we will it takes five uranium ore Thirty uranium and thirty base acid. Uranium will be under junk. So nuclear waste that gives us twelve nuclear waste from that. All right, the next three locations we're gonna try to run through these real quick because you don't really get a whole lot from them. But kind of with nuclear material, you kind of take what you can get where you can get it. Um, so the first one of three is going to be over here in the ash heap at the rusty pick so we'll go ahead and fast travel there and we want to go to the exterior <clears throat> all right once we drop in at the, at the uh, spawn point we're right in front of the rusty pick 
So we're gonna go around this backside here. And we should find a set of stairs right here. So we'll pop up the stairs. And oh, I forgot where it's at. <coughs> Here in the corner, we've got a volatile materials box. We'll go ahead and grab that. And now we're going to run over there to the air purifier station. Uh, you'll see there is a rusted out truck and the air purifier is right there. So first we're going to head to the truck and grab another volatiles, volatile materials box. And then we'll head around this way. And in this fenced area, I use that term loosely, uh, we'll grab our third volatile materials box. That is going to do it for the rusty pick. All right, our next location is going to be Greg's Mine Supply. Open up our map, and that is on the south side of Morgantown. Here's Morgantown here, and Greg's Mine Supply is right there. So let's go ahead and fast travel there. Okay, when you drop in at the spawn point, you're going to be facing Greg's Mine Supply, right? It's that big building right there. Um, we're, what we're going to do is show you the alternate entrance, because the main entrance is right here, um, but you have to have completed a quest to get the keys to get in. Um, so what we're going to do is take the sneaky way. We're going to go around to this building, and right here is another entrance that doesn't require a key. So I'm not going to take too much time. I just want to go through here real quick just so you can see how to get here if you've never been. So we'll go upstairs, we'll pass through here, and now we are in the main building of Greg's Mine Supply. So the first thing we're looking for is right here, the volatile materials box. Let's go ahead and grab that. And let's see why we're grabbing this. <laughs> um, so volatile materials box gives you one nuclear material. So we have one there. And we're gonna go out here and then go upstairs. And there's another one right here. So we're going to grab that then back down the stairs and outside. And like I said, you, you could have come in this door if you had the key uh, or that door over there. Um, and then the third one is going to be out here, right there. Volatile materials box. Uh, that's gonna do it for Greg's Mine Supply. Our next location is going to be Camp Venture. It's on the east side of the map between the, right on the border between the mire and Cranberry Bog. So let's fast travel there. Now it should be noted that this location is going to require a little bit of lock picking skill to get all three of the volatile materials boxes that are here. Um, this first one doesn't take anything though. Uh, in the storage and supplies building, I'm going to head right over here and grab the volatile materials box. And then if you've never been here before, you can forego having to lockpick the second spot by heading down here into the basement. Um, this door will require level one lockpicking or the key. The key can be found at the barracks up in a location I'll show you in a second. Um, and then down here, this key, or actually this key is in the barracks, the other key is in uh, uh, Fort Defiance. Right here is the password we're gonna need to get into the command center. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that. Space. And then, so we're gonna head back upstairs now note, if you already have the keys and all the passwords and all that stuff, you don't have to do this part every time. Uh, so we're gonna head outside the building and then around this path. 
That'll lead us to the more fortified part of uh, Camp Venture. And then in this first building, this is barracks. Uh, this locker right here, which requires uh, level zero lockpicking actually, um, will get you the secure storage key, which will get you into that second door uh, that we were just at to get the password. Um, if you have level three lockpicking skill, just pick the locks, it's easy. Um, so we're gonna head here first. This is the one spot that will require you to pick the lock. Um, this is a level three door. Um, so you will have to pick that lock. So I'm grab that box there, back out the door, and then right ahead of us is the command center. You'll notice the terminal here. If you have the password, you can unlock the door. Otherwise, you can pick the lock with level three lock picking skill. And then we'll head inside and the locker right in front of us there has our third volatile materials box. All right, next on the agenda is farming super mutant behemoths. Uh, each time you take one down, you can get four to seven nuclear waste out of those. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a couple locations where you can find them and then server hop to find more of them. Uh, first location is going to be right near my camp actually. <laughs> at uh, Solomon's Pond. So at the spawn point, you'll basically just turn right around and head back down the road. <coughs> now obviously if you're super low level or something like that, these might be a little difficult for you. And you can see we have big guy there in the uh, in the water who does not spot us because we are sneaky 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 we're gonna wait for that here. one so you'll get a bunch of ammo and then actually we got a high powered magnet out of this one as well so high powered magnet is one uh, nuclear material basically and then five nuclear waste and, all right, so we're just going to go right to the second location where hopefully we'll get one and that's over by the at the abandoned bog town we use the pylon v13 uh, spawn point, so we'll go right there. Right, so we'll come in and we'll be facing the pylon there. Uh, we're going to turn over this way. And you can see our behemoth over there in the corner. The only thing that sucks about this is that you have you have friends. <laughs> It's going to do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to help me out, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more Fallout 76 content like this. I hope you have an amazing day and thanks for watching.